All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and welcome back to the channel. It's been a little bit since I've uploaded. Um, had some issues with YouTube, but uh, things are sorted, so we should be back to uh, everything as normal, minus live streaming. Live streaming, switching over to Twitch. Uh, we are live over on Twitch three days a week, usually Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. So there will be a link to that below. So if you want some more flight sim and you want to chat about literally anything, really, uh, feel free to follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Keegan Toga. But with that being said, we're going to do a nice little West Coast flight from San Diego up to Oakland and uh, should be a fun little flight. So thank you for uh, thank you for watching. If uh, you want to see more flight sim, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and uh, we'll get this show on the road. set up and ready to go we have everything plugged into the fmc that we're gonna need so for departure we're gonna be taking the padres to departure with the oros transition out of runway 27 we also have our takeoff data plugged in as well flaps five for departure we're doing a toga takeoff no d rate nothing like that we got our v speeds of v1 139 vr 141 v2 150 with a trim of 5.6. So all that's plugged in there. We have our runway heading set up up here as long as as well, rather, as our top altitude for our departure, which is going to be 15,000 feet. So outside of that, all that is left is to uh, get the APU started, get the plane pushed back, and then we'll get the uh, engine started and get on our way. engine starts we'll go ahead and get the rest of the plane set up for departure get our electrical panel on gen 2 come down this side everything's good we'll get the engines on the electrical buses that should be good Everything there is set up get start switches continuous rest of our hydraulics on get our probe heat on get our packs all set up and good to go. We have our cruise altitude of 34,000 feet plugged in up here. The uh, grab a taxi and our runway turnoff lights. Get us set up for taxi. We've got auto brake RTO trim. Needs to be set at 5.6. So we'll knock that back real quick. And then flaps five for departure. All right. We are ready for taxi. So we'll get this thing rolling.
Alrighty, we are short of runway 27, ready to go. We'll go ahead and get everything set up for takeoff. TCAS can go to TARA, we'll get the weather radar on. Auto throttle can go ahead and get armed. We have auto brakes RTO, flaps five, set and good. Go ahead and get our strobe lights on, wing lights on. And we'll taxi out onto the runway and we'll get the landing lights on as soon as we're lined up. Alrighty, we are lined up. Landing lights coming on. Start the clock. Throttle's 40%. And Toka. Slight nose down pressure. Airspeed's alive. There's 80 knots. Yoke is neutral. E1. Rotate. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. Get the plane cleaned up a little bit from departure. Autopilot's on. Get our heading bug lined up. Auto brake can go off. Landing gear can go off. Everything down here is looking fantastic. We'll come up top here. We can get our landing lights off and uh, turn off the APU. I thought I turned that off before takeoff, but I guess it didn't. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn the logo light off since it's. Uh, it is daytime. We don't really need it. We just had it on in the uh, darkness below the clouds. Then from here, it's just going to be a matter of climbing up to our top altitude, which uh, we can go ahead and say that we got clearance to go ahead and go up to cruise. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and take ourselves up to flight level 340 for our cruise to Oakland today. Alrighty, we've made it up to our cruising altitude of flight level 340, and uh, we are well on our way. Not a uh, terribly long flight today, so we're going to go ahead and get the arrival worked out and get what we're uh, planning to do plugged into the FMC down there. So taking a look at the METAR for Oakland, we've got winds 300 at 07, uh, 10 miles visibility, temperature 12 and altimeter 29er, 9er, 9er. And it uh, looks like we have overcast at 900 feet, so it's definitely going to be a uh, ILS arrival. So we take a look down here into our FMC. We'll go to departure arrival. Looks like arrival for Oakland. And uh, we're going to plan on runway 28 left. 
So if we jump through here, we have an Arnav Yankee to a left. No, I think I said ILS. It's going to be an instrument arrival, but we're going to take an Arnav. We're not going to take a uh, ILS. I'm going to keep it interesting. So we get the Arnav Yankee to a left for a uh, symbol, symbol transition. And then we got the Mzo 328 both star. So we'll pop that in. We're going to pick that up at our good. So we should have that all set up. Execute that. Come back to our legs page. If we jump up here and flip to plan, we'll bring our zoom in a little bit. We can walk through this. Make sure everything makes sense. When I go through these, I don't go waypoint by waypoint. I mean, we're, we're on VATSIM. I'll pay a little more attention to it, but we're, we're in a flight simulator. We don't need to be that exact. We'll just make sure everything makes sense. Everything does make sense. Brings us right into the runway, so we are good to go there. So then with that, if you've watched any videos on this channel, you know what time it is. It's cruise montage time. So sit back and relax. And uh, I will catch back up with you when we're on our way down into Oakland. on top of descent so uh we're gonna get ready for i well our descent uh like i said earlier we're gonna be taking the emzo 3 arrival but uh we're gonna be going towards the symbol transition onto the rnav so we're gonna set our bottom altitude at 5300 Final thing left is we will take a look at our progress page and we can see here that we're going to have 10,000 pounds of fuel when we make it into Oakland. So 10,000 pounds of fuel right now at our top of descent, we're going to have 11,000 pounds of fuel. So uh, we'll need to leave, lose a thousand pounds on the way down. So we can re put in our gross weight here, 143. 0.7 and get us some updated speeds. We'll take flaps 30, which will be a V ref of 148. Alrighty, we're coming up on 7,000 feet and uh, doing mighty fine on our arrival. Since we are taking an RNAV arrival, we're going to go ahead and drop our altitude down to 100 feet above airport elevation. So, airport elevation at Oakland is 9 feet, so we're just going to go ahead and pull this all the way back to 100 feet. So that way, our RNAV will operate very similar to an ILS, where it'll take us all the way down to the base of the runway. All right, we are starting our slowdown here. You see we're slowing back to our flaps five speed. Put the flaps down 15 miles out and we're getting above our profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop flaps 10. Should be the same speed as flaps five. It'll add just a little bit more drag. And we also have the speed brakes out as well to help uh, 
add some drag. All right, we are at 2,000 feet. We'll go ahead and go landing gear down. Bring the speed brakes in and get those armed. Now we're back on profile. Maybe if I can find the click spot. There we go. And we got three green. So we'll come to flaps 15. Get our V approach set at 153. We'll go ahead and go flaps 25. And flaps 30. It's a little cloudy here in California, but uh, so far it's been a very smooth flight. We'll see if we can set this plane down on the ground nice and smooth to uh, end this one on a high note. down reverse Should have a marshaller somewhere, hopefully. There is six. I'm not seeing the marshaller anywhere, and I do have the GSX profile installed. Interesting. Looks like everybody is over on that gate. Strange. We'll get this uh, roughly parked up, and then we'll have GSX come meet us over here, I guess. Parking brake set, APU is on, APU is on the bus, we'll get the APU bleed on, and then we will shut it down.
Alrighty, everybody, that is today's flight. Thank you so much for uh, flying along with us, hanging out with us. Um, just a reminder, we are live on Twitch every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Wednesday, 10 p.m. Central. Saturday and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Central. So uh, feel free to stop by, drop a follow there, and hang out with us. We uh, do some flying and uh, some other simulator shenanigans every once in a while but uh also feel free to join the discord the link will be down below i uh make sure i post in there before i go live so everybody knows but uh thank you all so much for tuning in and hanging out i hope you all have a fantastic fantastic day and uh, rest of your week i will see you all in the next one don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed and uh ladies and gentlemen i will catch you next time we will see ya